On this channel, we cut meat, we cook meat, we eat meat. But today, we're gonna do something a little different. We're going to go buy some meat. You've heard of ButcherBox, but is ButcherBox a good deal? I'm gonna break down the prices, what I got in the ButcherBox, and then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and I'm gonna buy the exact same things. And we're gonna find out if ButcherBox is a good deal compared to the quality of like a Whole Foods. Stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna break down the prices. We're gonna take all the things that came in the butcher box this month, and then I'm gonna go buy them at a Whole Foods at the same quality, the same everything, and we're gonna see which one is the better deal. An important note, I bought this box myself. They did not send it to me. I'm not gonna put a link in the description with the affiliate link. This is a true, not sponsored take on whether or not the butcher box is a good deal or not. Butcher box does 100% grass-fed beef, humanely raised pork, free range chicken, and wild caught seafood. Now, I looked that up on the website. The reason that's important is because when I do the comparison to Whole Foods, I did the, exactly the same thing. I got all the beef grass fed, humanely raised pork, and the chicken is free range. So it is exactly the same when we compare them. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Inside this month's box is in a, a whole free range chicken. We have two pounds of 8515 ground beef, grass fed, a pound and a half of grass fed flat iron steaks. We have two pounds of stew, grass fed stew meat. We have two pounds of boneless pork chops. When I signed up, they do these different things from time to time, these different promotions. I got two packages of bacon, which they say are for free. Again, we know they're not for free. It's part of the cost of the box. There are two 10 ounce packages of bacon, applewood smoked uncured bacon. That's what's in the box. So I went to Whole Foods and then I bought all the same things I got in the butcher box. Now remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get all this stuff delivered. So again, the delivery and the convenience negate each other. Remember the reason I chose Whole Foods was because they have grass fed beef, pasture raised pork, organic chicken. They have the same quality. I don't want, I want to make sure I'm comparing apples to apples here. That is a bad fruit pun. I'm comparing the same meat to the same meat. We don't do apples around here. Are you crazy? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to break open a couple of these packages and compare the quality of the Whole Foods versus the Butcher Box. What do you get when you open up the package? That's what's next. So I have the flat iron steaks that I got from Butcher Box. We're going to open the ones up that I got from Whole Foods. The first difference is the fact that Whole Foods gave it to you in, or in one big piece. So this is a pound and a half flat iron steak, and this is a little bit over a pound and a half, 1.66 pounds of a flat iron steak. Now a flat iron steak comes from the chuck, and you know I am on the chuck wagon. I'm calling this the chuck wagon because it's like the bandwagon for chuck steaks. So I love chuck steaks. I've done several videos on them. Check out the channel. You're gonna see a ton of them. I have not done a flat iron video on the channel. That one will be coming soon, but here I wanted to show you the differences between the two. Flat irons are a, it's a tougher cut of meat, but again, we wanna cook it really fast, really hard sear, cook it medium rare, it's delicious. Next, we're gonna get into pork chops. So we have a boneless pork chop. I also wanted to take this time to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell. It's gonna let you make sure you're notified every time I put out a new video. Both pork chops, humanely raised. The butcher box you can see has a little darker color, and then this is a little lighter color. Other than that, they look very, very similar. We're gonna cook a couple of these up also. Next, let's go get the ground beef. So now we're gonna talk about ground beef. Now the butcher box came 8515 ground beef, grass-fed, in these two little one pound packages, I went ahead and bought the 8515 grass fed ground beef. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple of burgers. We're gonna cook all this stuff. We're gonna cook the flat iron steaks, the pork chops, and a couple of burgers, and really compare and taste test if you can tell the difference between the Whole Foods brand and the Butcher Box. Let's head outside to the griddle. I'm gonna go griddle all these up and cook them up, and then we're gonna taste them. All right, 
So here are our cooked pieces of meat. We have ground beef, we got pork chops, and we got our flat iron steaks. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna taste each one. I'm gonna tell you the differences, if they're the same, if one is better, one is worse. I'm gonna do a true kind of taste test. So let's do ground beef first. We're gonna do the butcher box one first. This has a great beefy flavor, but that grass-fed beef, it really does bring beef forward. So, I mean, it is a delicious burger. Let's try the one from Whole Foods. Again, they're both 85-15. Also very good. Also, that punch of beef flavor. This one, the Butcher Box one, has is a little bit thicker grind, a little bit chunkier grind. So this one is a little smoother. Again, it's just a matter of personal preference. But I mean, they are very, very similar. This is a good, these are good burgers right here. All right, next we're gonna go pork chop. Pork chop's really, really good. Very flavorful, very juicy. It's really good. All right, let's do this one. This is the Whole Foods pork chop. Great flavor, great seasoning. It's juicy. Again, these are all pretty much the same. Same quality, really it would be hard to tell the difference. If I was blindfolded, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference. All right, next, we're gonna go flat iron steak. So this is the flat iron steak from Butcher Box. This is great, I love the chuck steaks. This flat iron is so good, tender and flavorful. If you guys want me to do a whole video on flat iron steaks, put it in the comments. I would love to do one of these if y'all wanna see it, because this is just a tremendous, tremendous steak right here. All right, so now we're gonna do our flat iron steak from Whole Foods. Again, flavor, it's the same, it's delicious, the seasoning's great, everything's great on this. These steaks are awesome. I love this flat iron steak, that's delicious. So let's talk price comparisons. For the butcher box, I paid $149, came with free shipping, and came with the two packages of free bacon, but we all know it's not free. They put, they account for it in the price. I got the curated box, so they send you a different box every month. On the Whole Foods side, I could also get free shipping. If I'm an Amazon Prime member, you can get it delivered. So I get the convenience can offset each other. The prices of the Whole Foods. I went through and I bought every Thing that came in my butcher box from Whole Foods, same quality, same standard grass-fed, uh, pasture-raised pork, organic chicken, the whole deal. And it came to $103.38. A tremendous savings from the $149 that we paid for the butcher box. There you have it, folks. You can save money by going to Whole Foods and buying it yourself or getting it delivered if you're an Amazon Prime member. If you thought that was a cool video, go watch this next video and I will see you next time.